Yesterday, after months of hard work, my wife was finally ready to submit her thesis to the university. The last step remaining was to actually upload a PDF to the system. So we sit down together, we hold it hands, and she clicked on the upload button. PDF error! Yeah, uh, we tried it again, we get the same error. PDF is not in the PDF-A format. We knew we have to submit a PDF-A document. We knew about that, the university was very clear about that, and we used an online converter to get a PDF from Pages to PDF-A. However, we still got this error. And we were pretty bummed because like, this is the last step and it doesn't work, so we were, what? Before we get there, let me go through a brief history of PDF-A. PDF was created as a portable format and it performed well and people use it every day now. However, at certain point people discovered it's sometimes difficult to access documents that are 5 or 10 years old because the technology it used is not supported anymore, like some video embeds and other crazy stuff. So what they did is that they formed a new standard for uh, long-term archiving and it's called PDF-A. Uh, it's based on PDF, but it has some restrictions on it. So you can't use everything, like for example, these video embeds. And they introduce it in several levels, 1B and 1A. 1B is a basic level. It just has a very basic uh, stuff. 2A is strict level. It has fur restrictions and it's used mostly for like uh, searching from uh, searching in the document and things like that. Then a few years later there was a new version of PDF-A, PDF-A2 and it again had 2A and 2B levels. Again 2B was the uh, basic one, 2A was a strict one. In this version they also introduced 2U, U stands for Unicode and U2 is somewhere between uh, to B and to A. Now, Charles University, as many other institutions, requires PDF A in at least 1A level or at least 2U level. PDF A tool we used probably did create a PDF A, but it was either level 1B or 2B, which was not enough uh, for the system. <laughs> now we know what was the problem, right? We have to uh, get a proper level for our PDF A. But how do I get there? So there are many, many PDF tools out there and they probably fall in one of those three categories. Category one, professional PDF tools. And yes, they are PDF professionals. Two, free and open source. I wasn't able to find one which could allow me to define the level of PDF A I want to use. Maybe there's something I couldn't find it. Because, number three, uh, there are many scams, uh, like uh, dangerous software that can introduce some viruses because PDF is so powerful and people are so desperate to convert it. So that's why I was a little bit uh, hesitating to try all those free versions. The most known software is called Acrobat, Adobe Acrobat. You probably know the version Reader, this is not the Reader, it's the Acrobat for manipulating the PDFs. And this is the PDF tool. Adobe was the company that created PDF in the 1990s. Uh, however, it's, it's a little bit expensive to be honest. And if you only want to convert one document, it's very expensive. They provide a free trial version. For seven days, there was more than enough. Yesterday, I spent like one hour with that, play with it. To convert my document, now you probably need like five minutes. <music> Open the document you want to convert. In this case, it's a PDF from uh, Apple Pages or it can be PDF generated by uh, Google Docs or any other software. It should work well with that. Now, and this is the thing that took me the most time, you need to use a tool called Preflight. Search for it in the sidebar. There's a section for converting the PDF A, yay. However, as you see, it's only 1B and 2B. That wouldn't be enough. You have to click on the little edit button and you have all the profiles. Let's create a new one. Let's name it convert to PDF A to you. There is a section called convert to standard. Go there and select the level you want to have. Save this profile. In preflight, 
make sure that this profile is selected and click on analyze and fix. The save dialog will pop out, uh, put the name of the new document and click save. It will take a moment and then you should check that this went through successfully. And that's it. If you are here, uh, the document you just saved should be a valid PDF A to you. So then we took this PDF we just created, put it to the university system, holding hands, clicking on the upload button, successfully submitted. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and if you have any comments, please add them below.